I don't know how good y'all memories are, but I can remember my very first kiss in middle school. And I'm big on kissing y'all. But some women haven't mastered the art of kissing. Let's just say I had that shit mastered in middle school already because I was more mature than uh, the other people in middle school with me. So, especially when it comes to sexual activities. My girlfriend used to kiss me all the time. I had a girlfriend named Sierra, and she would always want to kiss. Like, at the beginning of school, at lunchtime, after school, it didn't fucking matter. She always wanted to kiss me. Problem is, y'all, sometimes she gave kisses that was too wet to me. I don't really like wet kisses like that. Like, if I got to wipe my face after we kissed, then you, you was just doing too much. Like, are you? why are you not just kissing my lips? Like, stop trying to kiss all over my face, on my cheeks and on my forehead and all of that other shit. Like, chill, 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 chill. You're doing too much. When it's like everybody knew she was my girlfriend, so she didn't really have to do all the extra PDA to make it known that I was her boyfriend, even though I wasn't ashamed of her at all. She was sexy to me regardless of how anybody else felt about her. But she wasn't the only one. But maybe it's my fault now that I think about it because... I say maybe it's my fault in the sense of I love women with them DSLs, which if you don't know what that mean, I ain't. <laughs> you kind of slow. But let's just say women with big lips, with big, luscious, full lips. I like shit like that. I love that fucking shit. Black or white, it don't make a difference. I just love full lips. I don't like women that look like they barely have any lips. Like, Because then you're going to make my lips seem bigger when really you just, your lips are too small. So... Certain facial features are, like, very important to me, you know? And the kissing is the kissing. I had another girlfriend named Sharice in middle school who she had real big lips like that. But she only would kiss me on the bus. So it wasn't as big as a problem as it was with Sierra. Like, okay, so she could drown me all she want on the bus. But when we get in school, it was kind of weird. She kind of acted like she didn't know me once we got in school. Well... It's a lunchtime. Lunchtime, we would sit together and eat together and shouldn't be all coupled up. So really just on the bus and at lunchtime. I don't know why during class she would act like she wasn't my girlfriend. Like that shit was weird as fuck to me. Like we didn't have a bunch of classes together. We only had one class together. But even at one class, I would have expected her to like sit next to me and sit on my lap and do shit like that. Like, well, some people might be like, well, then she would have gotten in trouble by the teacher. She, I don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> See, but maybe that's just me. See, you know, I didn't care about getting good grades. I didn't care about getting in trouble. I'm a different breed. I was always like that. And while my girlfriends were the straight A types and, you know, uh, honor roll type and, yeah, perfect attendance type. So, yeah, maybe. But still, I still thought it was weird. So just kissing is just like, it's not just kissing. Either. Even when I get head, y'all, I don't like a bitch to do put too much saliva on me. You, you really can't feel it like that once they get too juicy down there. So it's like, I be thinking these hoes watch too many pornos or something. Like, you don't have to do all of that. Like, it leave me all sticky and wet, like, on my legs and shit. Like, I don't like that, man. But that's, I would say, it's because of the pornos. Because they, that, I guess that's their version of sloppy toppy. I don't want no sloppy toppy. If I ask you to give me sloppy toppy, that's different. But if you just randomly do it, assuming that that's what I like, you go find out otherwise. But since I've gotten into the freaky talk, uh, Ashley, the chick I used to talk to in 2008, she gets the motherfucking trophy for create creativity with me. Because I was hitting her from the back one time, y'all. She a short bitch, but very thick. Hitting her from the back, y'all. And she reached under... And start tickling my balls while I was hitting her from the back. And at first, I was about to block, bit. Hold on. Damn, that shit feel good. <laughs> uh, never mind. Keep, keep, keep doing the tickling of the balls. So, most bitches would have been scared to do that, but she did it. And as much as I don't like Virgos, y'all, she was a Virgo, come to find out. I didn't know she was a Virgo in 2008 when we were going to Everest for massage therapy together, but I found that out later on unfortunately she married some other nigga because her services are needed right now not just the massages but you know other activities as well but man 
She a bold one, because I don't do that ass play. I don't like no bitch. Don't touch my ass at, you know, like, so like I say, just reaching under there, you know. She did it perfectly fine. She stayed at the balls. Don't, don't, no asshole play with me. That's, I don't do that sus shit.